My name is Whale Sucks, Kathy Samson Cruzy. I'm a member of the Walla Walla, Cayuse, and Umatilla tribes. 25 years ago, we were here. 25 years from now, we're going to be here again. 25 years further, we're going to be here. My father is Chief Mielk's headman of our tribe, and he'd like to open with a prayer and also some words of wisdom about why we came today. Shuk Petwe in our language. Good afternoon. I'm glad to see you all gathered here today. This is the homeland of my people of the Walla Wallas. Goes clear up through the Hanford Reach, throw to the Blue Mountains, clear south along the Columbia River to Willow Creek. This is where my people lived and died. My leader, Pia Pia Mox Mox, whom I'm named after. My great, great grandfather gave up his life just a few miles from here on this side of Walla Walla. They murdered him. They took his life. When they did this, they totally dismembered my chief. They cut off his ears, cut off his hands, cut off his feet. They cut strips, cut strips like this off his back. And they, once they scalped his head, they made buttons on, on, for souvenirs for those volunteer soldiers. That's all they were, volunteers, not real soldiers. But this, the price we talk about, we've paid those prices already years ago. This land was holy to my people. Clear up and down the Columbia River. Now look at it. We can't even eat the salmon that swims in that river because they're so contaminated. And DOE said years ago, I was chairman of the Nuclear Waste Commission at that time. They kept telling us it, it won't hurt your people, it won't hurt those fish, it won't hurt the water. But look what it's done 25 years ago. Today we pray for our elders that have gone on. We pray every day for our youth, for our young ones that are coming up. Those leaders years ago, all the ones that signed the treaty, prayed seven generations ahead. And this is what they did. They gave our leaders a medal like this, called a peace treaty medal. This is a Jefferson medal that was given to me. But I wonder whether it's worth it for what the price we had to give. We gave up 6.5 million acres that our people never owned. We said we'd be here to take care of it and protect it. But this happen hasn't happened that way. So today, Creator, we ask you to look into each one of your hearts, and your mind, your bodies, that you'll be safe from such harm that has happened to all of our people across this country. Katsiaio, I thank you. Hi. My father's, my mother, over here, our lifeblood, our elders, they're not going to be with us too much longer. They used to tell us, take care of yourself, take care of your children. We ask that you think of that every day. Be blessed every morning when that sun rises. Put your hands out and hug that sun and be blessed and be mindful that it's going to rise one more time and we'll walk among this earth again. Be mindful that one day when we leave this earth, we'll have done good. And that's the most that we can say. Just in closing, I want to welcome you to the beautiful Walla Walla Valley. We don't know how many of our ancestors are buried here. We don't know how many have been dug up and taken over across the oceans, put in some type of mausoleum or sold off. But be mindful of this place. When I was arrested down at Jameson Park in Occupy, 
was really hard. And uh, for those people that stood with us and those people who continue to stand with us across the world, I applaud you. I give you everything in my heart and soul to be strong. So in closing, we just really want to be thankful today. We always want to be mindful and know that these children climbing in these trees, they're going to be back here. They're just mischief little ones right now, wondering where they're going with Ola, their grandma, their Katza, their Pusha. But they're on this traveling trail. Hi, Katsiaya. Raise your hand like this. Don't clap. Raise your hand. When you raise your hand like this, you're praying. You're having the Creator hear those words, and they're taking them to that world. Hi, Katsiaya. <laughs>